In this video, we're going to be looking at Eclipta Alba and how it can improve hair loss. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's get into the video on Eclipta Alba. Eclipta Alba has been used for centuries in the treatment of many minor ailments and disorders. However, more current research has also backed its use as a hair growth promoter. In this video, I'll introduce to you E Alba, and this includes its components and mechanisms. In addition, I'll show you three ways to easily incorporate this herb into your hair care routine. First guys, what is Eclipta Alba? Eclipta Alba, also known as Bringaraj and Force Daisy, is a herb found in India, China, Thailand and Brazil. The herb has been used for thousands of years as part of many cultural medicinal practices. In India alone, E. alba is used for gastrointestinal disorders, respiratory tract disorders, hair loss, liver disorders and many more. Well, why is this herb so popular? Well, we can see all of the constituents here and if you want to take a further look at that, just click pause now and you can take a look at those. So, We've mentioned before that E. alba has been used traditionally to treat hair problems. So now what we're going to do is take a closer look at how the herb is effective in treating those problems. The first thing is that E. alba can promote hair follicle neogenesis. It was once believed that hair follicles, the structure which hair grows from, were unable to regenerate. However, decades of research have proved this theory otherwise. Essentially, hair follicle neogenesis is the regeneration of previously lost or dead hair follicles. Neogenesis can happen as a result of micro-injury, such as that through micro-needling or through the use of growth-maintaining culture. Another way to regenerate hair follicles is through the use of natural supplements, including E. alba. When applied to the scalp, E. alba can stimulate hair follicles, and this was seen in research study on nude mice, which we'll get into soon. E. alba can also induce the anagen hair growth phase. Now within the hair follicle, there are three main phases of hair growth, and they are anagen, catagen and telogen. Through this process, which typically takes a number of years to complete, the hair buds from the follicle, grows and then sheds. Unfortunately, this shedding can sometimes take place prematurely and this is known as telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium can occur as a result of stress, illness or injury. It can also happen as a result of hair follicle miniaturization, wherein the follicles are too small to properly grow the hair strand. Now, according to a 2014 study performed by Begum et al, E. alba and similar medicinal herbs can actually promote the transition from telogen phase to anagen. And this is clearly seen when E. alba treated mice uh, are compared to the control group and the minoxidil treated mice. In fact, E. alba promoted hair growth even better than minoxidil. And as mentioned above, this process also involves the generation of new hair follicles in the nude mice. Now, E. alba can also reduce inflammation. So if you have male pattern baldness, you may already know that the cause of hair follicle miniaturization is related to DHT. However, it's a little bit more complicated than that. DHT is a hormone that's naturally produced when testosterone, the male sex hormone, and 5-alpha reductase interact. This is normal and actually necessary process within the body. Unfortunately, those with male pattern baldness have hair follicles that are sensitive to DHT. This sensitivity leads to inflammation and eventually hair miniaturization. As a result, hair thinning occurs and it can be permanent if not treated. Now, the blocking of DHT within the body can lead to some unpleasant side effects, including sexual dysfunction. So, instead, we can counteract the ill effects that DHT has on the follicles. One way to do so is by treating the inflammation. This can prevent hair miniaturization from taking place, which will ensure the hair follicles stay healthy. In 2005, researchers in India tested the anti-inflammatory properties of E. alba against Indomethacum, a commonly used NSAID in rat models. Inflammation was first induced through both histamine and serotonin as well as cotton pellets. The rats, which were split into five groups of six, were then treated with different solutions. And this included a control, which was obviously no solution. Then we had 50, 100 or 200 milligrams per kg of body weight of E. alba extract, or the indomethacin at 10 milligrams per kilogram. In the treatment of acute inflammation, these were the results. 
Now, we can see an image of the results here. Now, while not exactly as effective as indomethicin, which had 61.3% percentage of inhibition, the 200 milligram to kilogram dose of E-alba was highly effective at 55.85% in inhibiting inflammation. Similar results were seen in the treatment of chronic inflammation. And again, we can see here, in this case, the 200 milligram per kg actually was more effective at treating inflammation than indomethicin. Now, e alba can also treat bacterial and fungal infection. While not a common problem for those with male pattern baldness, bacterial and fungal infections can be another cause of hair loss altogether. This means that their prompt treatment is crucial to protecting your locks. Of course, for many infections, antibiotics are prescribed. However, frequent use of them can lead to its own set of issues, including antibiotic resistance and digestive upset. Instead, when possible, we recommend that you take a more natural approach. An effective one is proven by a 2011 study on the topic uh, is E. alba. In particular, it was the most effective against the strains shown just there. So, E. alba sounds fantastic, but are there any side effects? Well, the use of natural supplements, while better for your overall health, can sometimes come with side effects. These may be minor, such as a rash at the site of application, or more serious. Now, if you experience a severe reaction, stop use immediately and seek medical help. Prior to supplementation, you should speak with your physician to learn of any possible drug interactions or restrictions. If nursing or pregnant, consult with your obstetrician before use. How about the availability and cost of e alba? Well, e alba is most commonly sold under the name Bringranch. You can purchase capsules and tablets and even the plant's leaves online at many health food stores. For example, you can purchase 60 capsules from Amazon for $8.99 plus $4.49 for shipping, or you can purchase 8 ounces of the leaf powder for $11.49. For better deals and a larger variety, I also recommend that you check out any health food stores or Asian markets in your area. So now I'm going to show you three ways that you can start adding this to your hair care routine. Well, fortunately for you, e alba is really easy to incorporate into your regular routine. So we're going to take a look at three ways that you can begin using it today. The first thing you can do is use it as a dietary supplement. Now for centuries, uh, herbs such as e alba have been added as a supplement to the diet. Typically, this was done by incorporating the herbs into meals and teas, but you can now do so with capsules and tablets. As shown above, these supplements can easily be purchased online, and you can take it in the morning with breakfast, or you can break the capsule and add it to a cup of water. The second thing you can do is incorporate it into your shampoo, and it's probably one of the easiest ways to do it by creating this homemade shampoo. What you want is half a cup of liquid castor soap, two tablespoons of maple syrup, 5 to 10 drops of carrot seed essential oil, 10 drops of castor oil, and 1 capsule or 1 teaspoon of extract of Bryn Garage. Bryn Garage. Now the directions are just to combine them all together and then mix well, then literally lather it into your hair and massage for 2 to 3 minutes, then leave it for a further 2 to 3 minutes. Rinse it thoroughly with lukewarm water. Of course you can add e calba to pretty much any homemade shampoo recipe you create. Get creative! And the last thing you can do is apply it directly. Now, if you've already got your shampoo routine down, uh, or you just like to experience more direct results, then I'll try applying the herb directly. And this can be done a few ways. The first thing you can do is purchase an E. alba extract, uh, and this can be added to oils and massage into the scalp. Uh, secondly, you can get your E. alba leaves fresh. This will be difficult if you aren't in a country where they grow. However, once obtained, you can then crush the leaves yourself with a pestle and mortar and apply as a paste. And third, you can break open capsules and add them to your homemade scalp treatments or oils. E. alba isn't a magical cure for pattern baldness, however it is an all-natural treatment method with a number of research research to back the benefits, but making use of this herb is more complicated. You'll need to use it daily to see any benefits, and even then the results will probably be small. However, it might be worth it since there are no apparent downsides. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on E. alba. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.